Hey what's up guys, my name is Ty with Burst Arts History and today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to connect your MIDI controller or just a piano keyboard, Yamaha is what I have, and connect it to your computer and run it through FL Studio. So first off you're going to need a USB cable, professionally it is called a Type AB USB cable, but I just went to Radio Shack and picked up something that looked a lot like it. It did not have the exact um, name for it, but I'll leave a picture on the screen right now and um, you can pick up something like that if you don't already have it. And after you get that, don't connect it right away or anything. What you first have to do is you have to download the driver, which there's multiple ways to do this. Depending on the piano keyboard or MIDI controller that you got, you might have gotten a, a disc that you can just put right in your computer, press next a couple times, and download the, the driver for it so that your computer can read, can pick up that the piano is there and you can play like I can, but obviously I don't have the piano part set up yet. Another way to do it is go to their website, which I'll show you guys how to do. Um, so you, you, have, you basically just type in Yamaha and you go to their website, Yamaha, Motor, everything, and so on and so forth. So you get to their website and you go down here to Yamaha Music and Electronics. Let's just open that and um, go down to Musical Instruments. I'm sorry, excuse me, you have to go to Support and to Downloads. Now that you're here, you can either type in the exact model of your keyboard or you can go down here, which is what I'll do. Um, you can press piano and keyboards, portable keyboards, which is what mine is, and come over here and find your um, model, which mine is a DX, excuse me, mine is a YPG-235, then you can press select, then I'll open up this screen and you can find your uh, type of computer which uh, like your um, your operating software or whatever it's called. Uh, mine is a Windows 8. I used uh, this one. Mine's already downloaded, so I won't download it. But I'll just show you guys what you have to do. Basically, it's really easy. You come down here, press yes, I agree, and you download that zip folder. And then what you have to do from there is um, I actually already have it on my desktop. You get this file, this .zip, and you need WinRAR. Hopefully, you guys already have that. I will leave a link to the website if you don't already have it and you have to extract it, press extract, extract here, press yes, All right, I'm not, I'm actually not going to do, do that because mine's already there, it might screw something up, but um, it'll give you this folder and you can open it up and you can double click on the setup and open it up and just agree to anything that pops up and press next, next, next and it'll download the software and then you can get Fruity Loops, then you can open up Fruity Loops, you can connect your uh, MIDI controller or piano keyboard, and you can go ahead, oh excuse me one second, and then you're going to have to go to options first, press go to press MIDI settings, and you should check your input, and there should be something there, mine's a portable G-1, and you should highlight that and press enable. It's The default is not regularly enabled, so make sure you click that and it'll work fine. If it's not there right away, just press refresh device list. And then from there you can just exit out. And then you can place the grand piano in your track. And you can take your piano and play whatever you want. So that's been the tutorial, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like on this video and share it with your friends if it did help. And yeah, guys, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And we will see you guys in our next video.